Hey, it's Seth with SethPro.com. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm here to tell you how to make it more likely that you're gonna do your homework and studying. So, the amount of homework, whether you're in middle school, high school, or college, the amount of homework that you have is probably really actually a lot. It's very demanding, even if you're taking a relatively light load. So, don't underestimate just how demanding it is, you know. Um, and what you want to do is you you're just want to accept that you're not going to be perfect with it. And you want to increase the likelihood that you do it. And one of the best ways to increase the likelihood that you do it, and this is something that I do with my students all the time. A lot of times what I'm doing with students is really helping them develop metacognition. I'm helping them to think about thinking. I'm helping them to articulate the choices that they're making. So these things that are more or less unconscious regarding school and work and so, so forth, I just um, ask questions, the right questions, to help them articulate what's going on. That's a very powerful thing. If you wait to get motivated, it's not gonna happen. Motivation for people who struggle in school is, we're not usually motivated by things that a lot of people are motivated by, like grades or rewards or stuff like that. So motivation is not something, you, you don't need to be thinking, oh, how do I get more motivated? What will work is to develop better metacognition and to ask four questions. And if you write it down on a whiteboard or on a piece of paper or a note card or something that's going to be in your face, if you write it down, um, it is more likely, much more likely that you'll do it. Here are the four questions. What? It's basically uh, what, when, where, and how. But you answer what. What do you got to do? Okay. So write that down first. When are you going to do it? Be specific. Today at 5 p.m. Not just, don't just say tonight. Say when tonight or whatever the situation is. Just say specifically when. Where? At the kitchen table, at the desk, on the couch. Be very specific as to where and how. How has a lot to do with what materials you're going to need. If you're getting up five times to get something, a drink, a snack, a pencil, a marker, a, a book or something, you're going to get distracted all of those five times. Um, so with the how, be very specific about what you're going to need and have it when you get started. Um, also, it's really good to chunk it down in little 15 or 20 minute chunks with the timer. Take a little one or two minute break. Do not start getting on Facebook or Minecraft or something like that. When you do this one or two minute break, just get up, stand, stretch, move around a little bit. And when the one or two minute beeper goes off, sit back down and, and this will help you actually get a lot more done in a lot less time. I hope you are doing awesome. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.